No, no, I just got to know. What is one what privilege that women that men have that women don't? Because I can only think of one privilege that men have that women don't. Go ahead. I'm asking you. What's a privilege that men have that women don't? Yeah, because you're trying to say there's male privilege. I would argue yes. that women have all the privileges and men have very, very few, if any. Men have very few privileges. Yeah. That's just not true. Men Man, are... that okay. So when you look, okay, men men's sports teams are better funded than girls' sports teams in schools. If that's that's a yeah. fact. In high school Men... and college, <laughs> in both oh. in high school and college actually, and NBA, the fucking NBA and WNBA player More can make only two men's twenty thousand than I'm, women's I'm sports. I'm about to you right now. They this is why you're women. incorrect. Number one, there's a uh, there's a law in in place that in college sports, okay. All, female sports have to get the same amount of funding as male sports. That's number one. That's why college uh, college female rowing teams are huge and have a lot of money because football teams and basketball teams. That's number one. Rowing. So then, I'm, I'm just using an okay, example of an expensive can you, sport. Can you Hold give on, me an ex- let, let me the WNBA and the NBA? Let me continue the bump. Uh, the WNBA yeah. is the only business that's negative every single year. It's subsidized by the NBA. Okay, <sighs> so it's a privilege. I know. That the WNBA still exists, even though it is a negative business. It makes no money. And it you, loses money, and the NBA subsidizes. So please explain to me yep. how the M- WNBA yep. players still get a salary yep. of six figures a year while they're negative and don't generate money. And you know, because <laughs> we, we live in a society that loves men, that dick rides men, really? that wants mm-hmm. to see men in all forms of positions. So when men are playing sports, What's we're going to watch that more often than we're, we're going to watch women's okay, sports. Okay, let me ask so you a quick question. A how many WNBA games did you go to this year? I've never been to an NBA or WNBA <laughs> game. I've never been to a basketball game this year. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Support so, so, so go ahead and support WNBA. Yeah, uh, support them. Yeah, when I get the yeah. bread too. The fuck? Okay, so look, here's here's the thing. If you're going to make an argument, you got to make it in good faith. Like I've I said been... before, Title IX, all right, that allows women's sports to get funded as much as men's sports. So you're incorrect there, number one, okay? And I know that for a fact because I was a Division One athlete and I know that, okay? Number two, WNBA doesn't deserve to get paid. And as a matter of fact, they shouldn't even exist. It's a negative business, but it's still there. Why? Because we value women's feelings over the real. Yeah, if I, it was a men's a sport and it was negative, that. they wouldn't fund it at all. True. Okay, so they have, you know, men's football, NFL, is um, one of the most men dominated sports, right? So then yes. why then why do they have women female lingerie football? Wait, what? Oh, like Long- powder puff football? I, I don't understand. Oh, like- if anything, hold on. Again, that is another sport that doesn't generate money it's like, like that lingerie flag and is football. negative, but it gives women the opportunity to play a sport that quite frankly they don't deserve to play. It's but, negative. They don't generate money. And like the lingerie football thing, like the women are still being sexualized. So how much of a win is that really for women? Yeah, Yeah, and they chose to do it. So these women are like consciously and willingly uh, sexually objecting themselves to what wear no clothing and then put pads on and then running to each other and like what? It's it's a (laughs) weird combination. If anything, I would argue there's more privileges and and opportunities to women, even though they're mediocre. You know what? Like another honest another male privilege is being able to walk down the street and not have to worry about somebody's going to rape you. That is not true. Okay, not not incorrect again. Uh, So y'all be walking down the street not worried about someone going to rape you. Let me hit you with facts. Why you're incorrect about this? As a man, you are actually have a sixty percent plus more chance of being a a a victim of violent crime. So tell me, you're actually safer as a man. The reality is you're not. You're far more likely to be a victim of violent crime as a man. I'm than a being woman. I'm being very specific of it being rape and the violent crime that that man is going to face is by another man. The the crimes that women face is most of the time by men. Most like, rape we victims are, are harmed men. by men. Most rape victims are men. Most rape it's victims. It's just not talked about because it, 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 it yeah. Okay. And who are, they being, who, are no, they being, who are they being oh, raped by? Who are they being raped by? Men. Inmates. Yeah. Inmates. Yeah. yeah. And that yeah. shit don't get reported, dude. It's prison. No one yeah. knows what fuck what goes on in there. I've done statistics. I've done statistics on it when I was protesting. Is so it not is it not a privilege to not be held accountable for raping other people? What? Is yeah. it not these, these people are these men are raping folks and they're not being held accountable for they're rape. in prison and they're doing it to other men. Can we say okay. grape? Stupid grape, grape, grape. So, look, man, you've been debunked on a bunch of the points that you've been trying to make because a lot of the things you've said are erroneous and not true. That's no, it's not They're OK. I've debunked I think, everything I think, you said. And I think I think another thing about this show is that y'all have your own information, everything ready, your own topics ready to discuss. And so when other people come on here, we get frazzled because you direct you putting people on the hot seat and just you go brought up crazy. this topic. 
<laughs> and this is what the show is about. Because y'all you made, literally because brought up this topic, you, and I'm debunking, you debunking said, your stuff you off said, the top. You said y'all didn't. Y'all, you said we have female privilege. I'm saying we yeah. don't have. I, I'm saying y'all men name have privilege. one privilege that that men have that women don't, and you can't name one. I did. I named several. And I, I debunked said, them. Y'all, They're all incorrect. Y'all get to walk around topless. I already told you that's really not a privilege. privilege. Like really walking privilege? down the street for a man with no shirt on, like. How much of a privilege is that? <laughs> <laughs> right now, if I could take this off, I would gladly do that. But I can't because I know that's not. That no, really you can't. Dude, you're in Miami. You can walk down the streets fucking half naked. But, but in this realistically city, speaking, what, I don't what, like clothes. What period. benefit does that? Hold <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> on, you know that shit. You're you're more likely to make money and get opportunities given to you by walking down the street in a bra than I am with my sh- top off. This is you're true. more likely to get opportunities in a normal job environment right. and get pushed higher. Look, who the, who's in really? who's in the Senate is majority men, and it's they're making decisions mode. about our body, bro. Like, I, Nick, bitches mm-hmm. can't have abortions. Mm-hmm. Like you saying Actually, that you don't have you can. Can. Yeah, women can have abortions. And you can't in Texas. Illegal. Okay, well, let's just okay. Thing there. Fifty percent of the United states. states. Hold on, let me tell you a privilege that you have that I don't. You can abort a baby. I can't decide anything about a baby. Women have one hundred percent unilateral body. control. That's cool. That's cool. But that's a privilege. Women have that. Men don't. And that's I'm also not crying. Okay. Though. Okay. So, and then what was the other thing you said? Men control the business. No, you have more opportunities as women for the same job as me. So who runs who, who runs most of the Fortune 500 companies? Men. What men. percentage? Men. Men, it's men almost men all men. Than women. Rightfully so, as they should run it because they built that business up. Or yep. maybe because men have engaged in a long practice of colonialism and exploitation that has instilled certain European gender roles in our society. And that's wow. why y'all think you're leaders. <laughs> okay. Because if you look at African societies, okay. they're more matriarchal. If you look at indigenous societies, much more matriarchal. Okay. But y'all, you must think that y'all... Well, here's the thing. How many leaders. of those societies still exist today? Because y'all niggas Whoa. kill people. Okay. Men, it doesn't there's work. There's a great story about life. how it doesn't war... Work. It how doesn't work. War, like without uh, men, that wouldn't. And here's another thing too. Like... Let me ask you a question: Is it really European colonialism when you look at the Asian dynasties, you look at the Arab dynasties, you look at Native American dynasties? They were all patriarchies, yet they never spoke to each other, and there was no way of communicating back then in the old ages. Explain that to me. That's not. That's, that's not got you. Like yo, you what? can't win this. You what? cannot win Why this. Why you don't know what colonialism you is? Because colonialism <laughs> is literally a system that yes. is based off created extraction. by Europeans. Created by Europeans, and I'm trying to explain to you. They adopted a patriarchy, yet all these other societies did as well, and none of them spoke to each other without the advent of modern telephones, technology, etc. But they all practiced patriarchies, and they all existed. Explain I'm, that to me. I'm, it's not a social oppre- construct. An oppressive, it's, racialized patriarchy. No, no. The Europeans created a specific, it's biology. No, it's the, biology. It's not. It's not. But whatever. it's been that way. It's, 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 that all these societies. Read Mama's Baby. Read Mama's Baby, Papa's Maybe <laughs> by Hortine Spillers, by Hortine Spillers, where she gets into how slavery and colonialism has impacting gender roles in America today. And that's why black men and black women are the way that no, they are. Here's the but thing. Gender roles. Y'all not gonna look, read. look, look, no, I do read. I and really that's why you're literally real, getting girl. smoked right now. Gender roles <laughs> are a byproduct of biology, not social construct like you're trying to argue. Men are fit. Stop. Men are physically superior to women in every single way. They're deductive problem solvers. They're more logically sound. That's why men build everything that you see around the world. It's not because women were oppressed, as you say. Women choose to not go into these jobs. Even nowadays, with feminism being as strong as it is, women choose to go into jobs that are more socially centered. They don't go into construction. They don't go into engineering. They don't go into math. They don't go into because technology. Socialized. Because women mm-hmm. choose these jobs. Judith Butler talks about this, about how people are socialized into their specific gender roles. I have nothing else to say because it's very clear that we are in different points. No, you're incorrect. I really appreciate it. You're incorrect. Please you're, trying Please you're trying to argue. You're trying to argue. No, 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 no. Butler. You're trying to argue Please that gender roles Butler. are a social construct. Yes, they are. Like, they're this not, is a social construct. They're a biological construct. Race is a social construct. You do not just say that. Race is a social construct. Listen. Could I say something real quick? So the fact that I'm half black and half white is a social construct? Your ethnicity, your ethnicity is different from your race so who you're i don't know what your white part is from or your black part is from but that's your ethnicity that's different your race is your skin color that's socially constructed it was white folks and black folks telling us you black you not it's ontological yeah like, that's why i had to mark a, other own papers in school so. thank you but i, I have nothing else to say if uh, y'all no, reading, because, then you yo, look, reading. Look, look look it's not about reading because i read what i'm trying to explain to you is how is it a social construct when societies that don't even know each other since the beginning of time asians Native Americans, Europeans, Arabs, etc. They never spoke to each other, but they all had patriarchies. Explain to me how that's a... Stop interrupting. How is that a social construct when different societies that never spoke to each other did it? It's because it's biologically based okay so patriarchy is a is a system it, it's it's a it's a way of being that where works. there are men are a society a where men that works. are at top 
that is not necessarily a system that works because what the system that we have of patriarchy here is one that is mixed with colonialism, slavery, um, sexism. It's it's literally a system of of, of oppressions that sexism are working only together. benefits women. What sexism only I, benefits I'm, women? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> what? I mean, you're bro, even, you're even yo, good, you're yo, sexism good. only benefits women. There wouldn't be a WNBA without sexism. There wouldn't be equal opportunities, all this other stuff. There wouldn't be feminism without sexism. What are you talking about? Sexism inherently benefits yo, women. She came in an argument. Bro, she she, yeah, that's bro, an L. She, she a trigger, bro. <laughs> she she L. What the fuck? This is, a, this is an L all the way. Sexism inherently benefits women. No, you're good, right? No, you're sexism, on this podcast right now because of sexism. Is a, sexism is we normally a charge people 20 to 30,000 to be on this podcast. You're on here for free. Because of sexism. Pretty you're not talking about it because you let me, bro. Could that's, I say but that's what I'm trying to say. Sexism. That's not sexism. It's, women. it's not sexism. You you're here because you're a woman. You yes. simp. That's, that's sexism. Like on. And like, to be honest, I barely didn't want to like, let you on. But after your sister, I'm like, hey, is she <laughs> I'll tell you, Miami, I'll tell you this, less? though. And she's hey, like, look. yo, she's flying out in two months. Like, look, yo, look, I, look, I, look. I got you. I'm not here to disrespect or belittle you. I'm just telling you that if you're going to have an argument here based on debate and logically sound arguments, you have to argue in logic and fact, not necessarily your feelings. And but I am, and what you're doing is you're you're just not listening. So I'm not going to continue very to get because you're saying sexism inherently benefits women. Yes, and that is just factually incorrect. If y'all if all y'all women are going to sit up here and b- agree with that and believe with that, like I really like I'm going to pray for y'all tonight. Like, can I God, say something real quick? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Somebody has some quick. So I was going to say, because I know that you mentioned that there's like certain jobs that men I get know. and women don't, but I've been interviewed for plenty of jobs that they ask you directly, like, are you a female? Because people are more mm-hmm. comfortable speaking to a female at the front Thank than you. with a man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's why, like, I see where you're trying to get with this mommy, but like, at the same time, you also have to understand that this fear that women have towards men, it's not going to go anywhere. Yeah. So there are certain jobs that only us women can do because only us women give that motherly, yes. that nurturing, nurturing mm-hmm. nature. Mm-hmm. That's because be- that is mm-hmm. who we are. But there's that no jobs that they would never not give to men, to women. This we- is the other point I'm trying to make. Like if a, if, a guy, if a job was like, yo, we don't hire women, they would be sued instantly. Yep. Mm-hmm. We exercise sexism towards men, but we don't exercise sexism towards women. Let me give you an example. There's two standards in the military. There's two standards in police departments. There's two standards in fire departments. If we didn't have sexism, there would be one standard and women wouldn't get the jobs. But we allow women these opportunities through what? Sexism. Sexism benefits women. It's inherently to women's benefit because it allows women the opportunity to compete where they otherwise would never have the chance. That's just not like... That true. is the definition of sexism. I, uh, Bro, and she, she. Uh, women are socially constructed to take those positions. Like when we're kids, we are literally raised differently than men. Are you guys not raised differently than your brothers? Uh, I was raised no. differently than my brothers. No, no, no. I, uh, Girlfriend, do you really so, want to be on the streets like pouring asphalt in like 95 degree weather? <laughs> like, do you want to be out there building buildings in the fucking dirt do you want to be out there pouring concrete yes. do you want to be really go then like you're a construction job why don't you have a construction job Miami well, staying construction exactly Miami well, staying construction well, 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 the same frame you have to go events no, 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 the same for you, hold on, 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 Go work a job I don't like. Yeah, because you're saying that. She, she no, has... we're saying, okay, look, it's very simple. <laughs> that energy that you take into the BLM protest, go ahead and apply for a construction job or something in science, technology, engineering, or math. Do pour some asphalt. Go Alaska fishing. You know, whatever you want to do. Work one of these very difficult manual labor jobs that women don't want to work. Now, you also said, said something about social constructioning <laughs> makes you go into certain jobs. Explain this. You go to Norway, all these Scandinavian countries, right? The women... Are more e- this is the most equal society in the world. The women are literally as equal to the men in every regard. Tell me why women still are nurses, still go into social work, and dominate the fields of any type of sociology. Yet they have all the same equalities as men. It's because of choice. Women choose to go into these jobs because women don't like to do physical manual labor. It's a fact. No one at this table ha- d- does manual physical labor. Yeah. I mean, None of y'all. I but I've done landscaping growing up. I've done construction. construction. 
I've done. I've, I've done. done I've, I've worked on a farm too. Like, and it's choice. Like I think. Like, in general, women do not go into manual labor jobs. That's a fact. That's it, not even up for debate. And it's fine. And that's okay. But you can't sit there and say. It, it's a social construct. No, it's a biological co- construct. Women don't like to do manual labor because women don't have the endurance, the strength, and the capacity to be able to do it long term. That's just not like women are literally raised not to take those certain jobs. Like we are literally raised to be What's to be teachers. What's stopping you from doing construction right now? Huh? Nothing. No, it's still a choice to do it. I'm saying that we are socially constructed. <laughs> wait, 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 we are. What are you I'm saying that we are in. We are told. We are raised. We are in a society <laughs> that tells us this is what we're supposed to be. The <laughs> cult of domesticity. All right, go. It's you know what? Go against the grain and get a construction job. You can do it. Yo, if you went to go, listen, if you want to apply for a construction job, you will get a job over a man any day because you're a woman. Yep. Oh, more mm-hmm. sexism, by the way. Don't talk about it. Be Another about privilege it. that you got that men don't. Just be do it, it then. You can apply for a police department, a fire department. We'll never do that. You can apply for the military. You will get promoted faster yeah. than a man because of affirmative action and you're black. My yeah, thing dude. is, don't talk about it. Be an example. Just do it. Yeah, exactly. Why don't you go try it? Yeah, so, go like, do it. Yeah, be a it. leader. Like, yeah. uh, y'all, y'all are telling me to go do manual labor uh, jobs when I've already done manual labor jobs. Okay, so what have you done? Like, what manual labor jobs have you done? I worked at a farm. I worked in the kitchen. I worked in... Oh, and you chose to leave, didn't you? Because I got paid better somewhere else doing something else. Oh, so it's a choice. That's really it. I it's said that before. I said it's a choice, but people are socially constructed. Like, li- we're literally no. raised to be... It's either to choice. Wait, wait, wait. Oh but you keep talking about being raised, but I was never raised that way. You're trying so, to put us in a circle. Don't cut me off. You're trying to put us in a circle who? where you're trying to put us in the middle like we're all the same. I was not raised that way, my love. I was raised that if I'm hungry, I get my ass up and I get whatever fucking job I could find and I make my fucking money. Because that's oh, how my daddy fucking okay, buys okay, I get mm-hmm. up and I make my money that's and I fact. get what I yes, want. I want Amy. something, I work towards it. <laughs> but okay. I don't sit here and complain, oh, men get these jobs, women get these jobs, everything's so unfair. I go and I do something about okay, it. Okay. But I'm- you're trying to say, I'm not finished. Mm-hmm. But you're trying to say that us women are raised to be this way. I was not raised that way. I was raised to be a breadwinner. I was raised to be the top. If you're second, yes. you're losing. Mm-hmm. That's what I was raised to be. So you're trying to say women are domesticated into these jobs. I know how to cook. I could fix a tire. I could fix the bottom of some shit there. My daddy taught me. Uh, we'll get to that later. But I could do all this shit that men can do. There's certain things I can't do physically. Cause I'm not gonna lie, I'm thick, but I'm not muscle. You know what I mean? So there's I certain mean, things. <laughs> don't do me like that. Let her have it. Let don't her do have me it. like she that. Thick. I woke up thick as fuck this morning. Don't do me, all right? <laughs> I'm thick as fuck. I'm manifesting the fuck out of my ass. Okay? Let it be. It's growing slowly but surely, right? <laughs> but, okay, wrap up your point though. Go ahead. There's certain things that like you're saying that us women were like raised to do this or we learned how to do this but we don't that's your choice that's the choice of your parents it is choice. that's the choice that's of so you funny. if you really wanted to learn how to lay some fucking concrete you would teach yourself how to lay some concrete true because nobody ever taught yeah. me anything I, nobody I, ever mm, taught me anything i didn't have no concrete. family we'll her, i got no we'll friends her her point. I, like i i i agree with you what i'm trying to get at is that we are raised in a culture where we're getting messages where we're being told this is how we're supposed to look how we're supposed to be yep. as women and yeah. that there's certain jobs that we're being told growing up that this is what women do that this is what you can do and there and it's rare that we're being told oh you can go into these other paths until later on when they start doing more like stem programs for women all i'm trying to say is that we are raised in a culture that tells us this is what women are supposed to be like how we're supposed to exist and do and a lot of women choose to do that again it's a choice whether you choose to do that or choose to pour asphalt up to you but all i'm saying is we are socially constructed we are given messages about what it means to be a woman in this world and we live in that like that's literally it you're contradicting yourself by saying it's a choice and then also saying that we were socially constructed <laughs> into doing it into like why is it not so certain so we do got options. Well, how is it not and both that you that we are raised because in- it can't be both because you're contradicting yourself how okay. am i contradicting myself by saying we are raised with certain messages about what it means to be a woman in this world and that we are and that those ideas of a woman is what's given to us and that the, there being a choice again if you have a choice in life and you're raised a certain way it's still a choice. I'm going to be honest, brutally honest here. This is typical leftist propaganda that poisons a lot of women and people in the West in general, where you don't want to take accountability. You want to blame society and the past for why you make the decisions in the current. And this is a very toxic mindset to have because you skirt accountability for your own decisions. The reality is, okay, 
a lot of things aren't a social construct. It's a personal construct based off your own personal decisions. Okay. If I get caught selling drugs and I sit there and tell the police, yo, you got to understand, uh, it's a social construct. I grew up in a neighborhood where there was a bunch of drug dealing and I couldn't control it. I just had to sell drugs. They're going to put me in prison for the rest of my life. It doesn't fucking matter because I made that choice. But it's on me <laughs> to go against those social constructs, become a better man, get out the poverty, and make it. I can't sit there and blame society for my problems. I got to make active changes and go against the grain. That's how it is. But we live in this crazy clown world where it's black people's, it's the police's fault, it's the society's fault, everything is sexist. We live in this crazy patriarchy, blah, blah, blah. This patriarchy has given you the opportunity to get on this podcast and speak in a comfortable environment where you're not attacked for your opinions and you're able to speak freely, by, backed by a U.S. military, run by men that you say oppress you so you can be protected from the country that you left, Ethiopia. Let's keep it a thousand. <laughs> The only reason you're able to say the crazy things that you're saying right now is because men are willing to die to defend it. And those men are also killing other people. Like y'all are killing other That's people life. in other countries That's life. to do that. Why is why why is your life more worthy than it's somebody else? It's called the monopoly of power. And sometimes you have to let people know that you have the monopoly of power. That's why we have nuclear weapons. This is geopolitics. This could go forever. But the point is this: we are the world superpower. To continue to be the world superpower, you got to do things that sometimes are kind of fucked up and unethical. But that's what it is. If you don't like it, you can always go back to Ethiopia. But but you're here because you're able to enjoy certain freedoms and certain privileges and rights that you would never be afforded anywhere else. Why? Because it's backed by the U.S. military, run by men, run by these people that you Your are going ahead and saying that are oppressed. It's a it, okay. Look, you don't have to be here if it's a fascist government. You can go back to Ethiopia. The where United there's no States government. constantly sells what you're saying as propaganda to the rest of the world, and then the rest of the world comes to the United States. No, no, no. What you're spewing and then is how bad propaganda. It is. What you're spewing is left told... propaganda that takes accountability from people. This is why the youth are a bunch of pussies. This is why they don't work. This is why we have a bunch of men that aren't or soft because they sit there and blame other people for their problems. Listen, you're a woman. You can get away with saying that fuckery. You know, you cannot take accountability. It's cool. But men can't. You think I could run around here and say, yo, what's the man, bro? Yo, this is fucked up. I'm not where I'm going to be because the police are holding me down. We live in a crazy ass patriarchy. I can't do that. I got to look at the world for what it is and become a better man. I can't sell drugs and say, yo, man, it's because I'm black and the systemic racism. I can make all the excuses in the world, too. I'm Muslim. I'm black. I speak Arabic. 9-11 happened, whatever. What I do? I rose to the occasion, became a special agent. I put the people in jail that used to do that shit to us. I'm not going to sit here and cry and complain about my situation. I have every excuse in the book. But I'm not taking a victim mindset. I'm in the same exact shoes that you are, but I choose not to go that way. If I have a problem, it's my fault. No one else. I, I don't think I have a victim mindset because I actively organize yeah, with people to have agency. Like I, the place I work for, we literally give money to black businesses so we can be good. Like, I don't know, but. Don't what, know. Okay, that's racism in itself. How is it? Let's talk about that. Yeah, that's true. That's black supremacy, right? Oh See, we can go ahead and sit here. I'm going to only support black businesses. I'm not going to give money to nobody else. What if a white dude said, I'm only giving money to white businesses? It would be an uproar. I never mm -hmm. said only black businesses. You just but, you, but here's the thing. When you prioritize a business because of the ethnicity of the people that run it, that's racism in itself. White people can't do that, but black people can. Let's keep. Let's talk about that. You want to have tough discussions. Chris. You're talking. Chris. What's up, Fresh? That's all I'm saying, man. Like, Let her go, bro. You can't sit here, black power, all this other stuff, and then get mad when and then say, oh, white people are holding us down. You, you, you're you practicing racism, too. I'm trying to all right. Discussion is over. It's fine. We'll end it.